Okay, that's right. Today's tutorials are going to be about bows, but they're kind of special. So, you do not need a glue gun, you do not need a sewing machine, all you need is a scrap Here, tie, a fabric, ink. and some scissors. And this. Let's get started. Okay, so initially what really just set off this video is my sewing machine broke. I'm still trying to get over that. Just Okay people, you're gonna need a 5 by 9.5 scrap of fabric, and I literally mean scrap because it's gonna be a very small rectangle. I'll put up the picture in the video. You're gonna How I made my bow. I used a leftover pair of denim that really didn't fit me anymore and it was red so I bleached it and it turned into a really nice shade of peachy pink so just be very creative with this project because it's so simple and takes a very small amount of time that's why it was my favorite project probably what I've done this whole year but I've got tons more projects to come there's just all sorts going on in this head so look out for that let me go get the bow I made. Alright people, are you ready for this? This is awesomeness. Oh yes. Serious. Yeah. Oh yes, that is too cute. So you can attach this with a rubber band, which you see here. And then after you attach it with the rubber band, you can use a bobby pin. And that's how I put mine in my hair. The bobby pins or the elastic. Voila! By liking the video, you let me know that you like these types of videos, these DIYs, the ones that are very easy. Or just comment to tell me what's next, what should I do next? Okay. So over here to the chalkboard area, I am going to try to describe with my words and my face about how, that was weird, <laughs> okay, about how you make the bow. Because the pictures I was going to use might not be that helpful to some people. So anyway, the first picture you saw was of the rectangular fabric, except the horizontal sides were folded over, maybe about a centimeter or half a centimeter. You want to start that way because that is going to make your edges look finished even though you really didn't do anything except fold. So after you fold them, you are going to fold the fabric in half, hot dog style, or long ways. Okay, after you finish doing that, this work is a little complicated, let's, let's stay focused here. You are going to fold the bottom and the top side, I'm going to fold them into a triangle. I'll, I'll send, I'll post pictures up. Okay, please keep in mind that if you are doing this correctly, by the second, third step, I, let's wager it's the third here, the third step, which is when you are finished folding the triangles into the middle area on both sides, your fabric should look like a trapezoid. But you are going to, one triangle at a time, you're going to fold a triangle into the corner of the half and on the other side. And do it for the bottom and the top. And then you're going to fold it over to the middle-ish area. It is all very easy from here. All you want to do is repeat that process on whatever side you didn't do. And then you want to synthesize, so to speak, your bow. Kind of just condense it in the middle. You're making it smaller by just... I don't know how else to describe it besides using big words. It's sad. By just um, scrunching it up. That's a good word. Just by scrunching it up in the middle. Okay. 
and after you do that step, after you after do you that, that step, step is when you want to secure it with a rubber band. And if you use rubber bands, you're going to want to use multiple, as in a lot more than one. And if you have hair that tends to be dry, like this, like African American hair, you might want to tend to use an elastic because it's not going to pull at your hair the way a rubber band would and if you don't like those you can also just use a bobby pin the easiest method is to attach the elastics onto the bow by circling them more than once if you look back at my bow, you can see how I did that. I kind of looped it around about three times until it got really tight. And then you can slide the bobby pin through. Finally, I'm back to myself. It's feeling a little bit weird there for a second. I wonder why. So, what do you think, guys? Should this be the next tutorial? How to make a hat? I, I think it looks pretty cute. And I don't know. What do you think? I think I'm rocking this. Comment below. In that little box right there. Bye, bye.